Hey, I'm Brian. This is Greg Hi, from Gilware Data Recovery. Uh, we are going to talk briefly about RAID 1 data recovery. Uh, Greg, what's a RAID 1? RAID 1 is basically um, any arrangement of disks uh, where you are um, providing redundancy by having the disks, all the disks hold the same exact same copy of all data so that if any individual disks fail, you don't lose access to the volume. How many is the most common? It's uncommon to see uh, a RAID 1 involving more than two disks. That's right. So the classic scenario is somebody had a RAID 1, it was set up with two disks, and when it died, they're usually pretty surprised. Um, real briefly before we get into those things, like how does it work in general, it's very, very simple. Um, you've got a RAID controller, which is usually a piece of hardware, but it can be a piece of software and it's in between these disks and the operating system and its job is to take these two two terabyte disks and, and represent them as one two terabyte volume to the operating system and every block over here is going to have a redundant block here so every time you write data to position one it's going to be mimicked over here and here thought process being when one of these drives dies, gets slow, starts clicking. You have all of your data sitting right here waiting to... Zero downtime. And what you're, what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to notice. This RAID controller is supposed to start squawking with a physical alarm, a piece of software, you're monitoring it with a Nagios or something along those lines. And then a good IT guy is going to say, you know what, I better go get another drive put it here and then it'll perform a RAID rebuild and restore redundancy. So now we're back to being redundant. But we see a lot of these come into the lab because that notification is usually not set up. So a drive dies four years ago, nobody replaces it, nobody notices, and then yesterday this guy died. And, and now, then we get the call. Because now the volume's inaccessible. Because <laughs> now the volume disappeared. Now it's a problem. <laughs> so, uh, so traditionally what we have to do, there's a couple different scenarios we see. First of all, RAID 1, Greg was telling me right before we started cutting this video, what it's, isn't RAID? RAID is not a backup. Not a lot a of backup. people confuse RAID for backup. RAID is redundancy. RAID allows you to continue operating in the event of a single drive failure. It's not a backup. Don't confuse them with the backup. For example, um, if you were to accidentally delete a file, it's going to be deleted from both disks. RAID's not going to help you in that situation. Uh, if you're an unfortunate victim of ransomware, which yeah. we're seeing so much these days, it, they're going to encrypt both drives because, again, the RAID controller isn't you know, monitoring changes and only changing one drive, it's changing both of them. So yeah. don't confuse any sort of RAID with a backup. It's redundancy that allows you to keep operating in the event of a failure. It does not yeah. protect you uh, like a backup it, does. It's primarily there to help you from a hardware failure. That's what it's there for. And a, a ransomware event, a deletion, oh my god, I deleted a lot, mm -hmm. you know, these things or are Lightning not... strikes and takes both the drives out? Again, that's not a backup. <laughs> yeah, we do see physical situations where both drives die simultaneously due to an earthquake, fire, flood, gets knocked over, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but anyways, the most common scenario we see is this. Two drives come in, they're dead, and what we have to do is usually two hard drive repairs, and then figure out which one is stale, which one has died more recently, and obviously give our clients the data from the one that has failed most recently is going to be the one is going to be the data that's the most current and the most useful to them. In rare situations, uh, we might see scenarios where oh, like one of the four platters is scratched or something in one of these, and one of our advanced engineers might make a hybrid out of these two, much like the RAID controller does, to try to get optimal results for mm -hmm. our clients, but that's not super duper common. Uh, so people want to know what are the odds of success and what are the pricing is usually the very next question we get with this RAID 1 question. Um, and odds of success are really, really high. You know, I mean, in, in general, we often kind of have two shots at the title and maybe one of them is scratched big time, but the other one failed two months ago. So, you know, it's more common that we might see a situation where Boy, I wish, I wish the data was a little bit more current. Mm -hmm. But it, outright failure is really, I would say, uncommon. 
provided oh. that nothing um, terrible happened following the quote unquote failure. Yeah, that's a really good point. You know, sometimes what happens is uh, well intentioned IT professionals or just consumers who don't know what the hell's going on. When that volume goes down, the first thing everybody tries is uh, why don't we try reseating the drives? Now, let, Brian, me, let me replace a drive, uh -huh. which is going to do nothing. You know, it, when you when you have a RAID and it goes down, like hard down, there's nothing to rebuild. Mm -hmm. You've cashed in your redundancy chips a long time ago. When yeah. the RAID fails, it's exhausted the redundancy. There's no more. It would be nice sometimes if a RAID would fail when, it, when a single drive goes down because then it would force somebody to do something. Right. We've talked about having that idea for a while, but... <laughs> yeah, so again, if somebody were to put a blank drive in here and then run a rebuild and then smash all the data on this guy and he was current, well, we do see scenarios where data loss is permanent, but it's usually because of human screwing things up big time. Mm -hmm. A well-intentioned IT professional tried to be the hero and unfortunately made things a lot worse. Yeah, so we do see that from time to time. But um, odds are usually really, really good. I would say if we ran the numbers, we would see over 95% success rate from RAID 1 related data recovery initiatives. Um, as far as cost goes, again, usually we're looking at two hard drive repairs. Maybe we get super duper lucky, we repair one and it's, it's all we need but usually we're gonna have two hard drive repairs. Those will range from five to $700 at the low end, and they can be you know, 1,500 if it is modern equipment. So, and we usually have to do that twice. So kind of a common price point for a two drive RAID 1 uh, with the human analysis and optimizing and quality assurance and all these things. I, I would say a normal price is 2,000 to $3,000. Um, certainly it could be less, it could be more, but if people are watching this video wondering like, okay, like I had a two drive RAID 1, it took a big dump, you know, what is this going to cost and can Gilware help? Yeah, we can probably help and it's probably going to cost you a couple grand. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else to add on this subject, Greg? Uh, we see a lot of people that are thinking they're running RAID 1 and it's actually a RAID 0. Yeah, that's true. Some people that we either um, ignorant or... Uh... I mean, that's too harsh. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, a lot of people buy mm -hmm. a drive from an OEM. They'll buy a computer from an OEM. Mm -hmm. Or they'll buy a NAS device at a Best Buy. And then nothing wrong with Best Buy. Best Buy didn't configure it. Mm -hmm. uh, but they, yeah. <laughs> they, they bought it with two hard drives in it, thinking that it would arrive at their doorstep with redundancy. And it actually arrives at the doorstep with striped. Mm -hmm. And they didn't know it, and it's not till it gets to the lab. The good news is uh, we'll figure that out pretty quick, and it has similar pricing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's RAID 1 Data Recovery. Signing off. Feel free to give us a call. One of our client advisors would be happy to talk about your specific situation and figure out how we can best help you.